Well, he probably doesn't want me to mention who it is. But anyway, someone cool sent it to me. Uh, they had no use for it, I guess, and they gave it to me. I was using a Graphire before that. And I'll tell you what, when you're using the Graphire tablet or a bamboo, it's only 70 bucks, 75 bucks. You know, get it without the mouse. You don't need the mouse. Mouths. Honestly, the mouses are pieces of crap on the board. I, I hate them. Anyway, you're not going to want to use the mouse, I don't think, but uh, you'll use your own mouse. If you get a graph, not a Graphire, but um, you just get a bamboo, because a bamboo is actually just as good as a Graphire, if not better. So don't even don't even waste your money on a graphire. Just go ahead and get a bamboo. Seventy bucks, you know, seventy-five bucks, no big deal. Save up for it, and get the felt tip. It's the black tip. So, um, you know, when you when you you can buy extra tips, get the felt tip. Even if you're using a tuos, I recommend the felt tip. If if you don't like it, fine, go back to your plastic tip but try it at least. It's got a little bit more grip to it and I don't know why but for some reason on the bamboo or on the graphire when you use it it adds it adds it makes it actually feel like it has more sensitivity, more pressure sensitivity. It makes it much easier to sketch and draw with. But honestly you know this is what you need in Tuos if you want to have the full pleasure or even a, a Cintiq which I want to get one day. But anyway uh, with the Intuos that up a little higher. You can get you get the full sketching experience because you have more levels of pressure sensitivity. But really, you can almost get the same pressure sensitivity with a bamboo if you use the felt tip. And uh, but right now I'm working on 100% opacity. I wouldn't be able to do this with the bamboo. I'd have to work at like 80%. But it, it's almost the same. The main difference with the Intuos is that you get so much more uh, level of tilt when you're when you're drawing you can actually hold it like a regular pencil and you can't do that with a bamboo unfortunately but it, you know either way they're, they're, they're really good I, I used the graph wire for a long time which is basically the bamboo now and I used that for a long time and it worked good okay next I'll show you my little trick of drawing the nose Okay, I'm already at like 22 minutes, so it looks like this is going to end up being a lot longer tutorial than I thought. This is the very bottom of the nose, remember? And so this is where the lines of the nose actually will start coming up. And I know right now it looks like there's a lot of space between here, but really there's not. Because you'll have the upper lip, and then you'll have that, you know, part of the skin that comes. So imagine this is the bottom of the nose. This comes up to the nostrils, and what I do is I first just kind of draw these shapes like that, almost like like that. Now it's not obviously going to be that big, but this gives me a place to start. This kind of almost diamond shape that gives me a good starting point. And I can shade all that in since I know it will be. Now I'm going to begin to draw the nostril here. Dark on the top, leave it light on the bottom. Like that. You don't want to, you just kind of shade it a little bit. and I come out to about her lip. Something like this. Actually, I'm going to change my eraser to something with 
sensitivity on it for I could just lightly erase some of the stuff I don't want. Okay. I like to just kind of bounce around. I don't know. It's just, I don't get bored with one thing. Dang it, I did this the first time I drew. I'll fix it by making the makeup come in on this eye more. I did this the first time when I did it. I drew that eye too big. I'm going to do big pupils because uh, big pupils are subconsciously more sexy to us. Keep in mind, this is just a sketch. This isn't a finished drawing, so I'm not spending too much time on anything. I'm actually spending too much time on the thing altogether, though. I didn't think the tutorial was going to take this long. But hopefully you're learning something. And if you enjoy what you're watching, whether you watch it on Google, if I ever put it on there, or on YouTube, or wherever you end up seeing this, go ahead and uh, leave a message if you liked it, what you would like to see next, if you want to see any more tutorials. So next is the lips. And so if I imagine this straight line here, again I want almost I I don't quite come out to the line. really just depends on the kind of lips you want to draw. I'm going to draw these kind where they kind of come down like this. I'll leave a slight open Remember there's this little part underneath the lip.
I like 